Hi everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Frank's TV. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the collaboration that I did with FriesMarket.Live and What the Femme podcast. And I'm also going to talk about Queer Exchange, which is their new queer-centered um, social media platform. And I'm going to shout out my two new favorite vibe uplifters um, through their products as well, Casper Capers and Michaela Baumgartner. So stick around, you know, I'm going to talk about the intentions behind the performance that's happening tonight, and I'm going to talk a little bit about just life in general. Um, but we're going to keep it very rise market. So everyone stick around. I have a lot to talk about today, and I'm really excited to get this done. So stay tuned. to understand Cause she's Sophie from the man Cause that girl does what no one can That Frank, she's the type of girl that you love to detest But when the one that's feelings you choose to repress She's so beautiful I don't know how to address Let's call her Bitch. Damn, I keep making this way too close. Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Frank's TV. Um, I think that these shows have all been very exciting for me to make because I've had the opportunity to talk about things that kind of have nothing to do with my art, um, even though they have everything to do with it. But I think the exciting thing has been that I've been able to show a little bit about um, who I am as a person and sort of what colors in my work. Um, but today's episode is very special because I actually have had, um, I'm like nervous to talk about it. I've had the, the great immense opportunity to partner with um, an online queer marketplace called Rise Market based out of Texas and I wanted to just make an episode talking about um, Rise Market you know and talking a little bit about the performances because by the time you guys will be seeing this um, we'll have already premiered on Twitch so today Tuesday I know it's Obviously, I'm not recording this today on Tuesday. But today on Tuesday, we're actually doing an encore stream on Instagram at risemarket.live of Queer Sounds, hosted by Nick Lynn. Um, that's T-I-T-H-E-G-I-R-L on Instagram. I don't want to mispronounce it. But, um, so I'm really excited because I think that the opportunity is great and I wanted to definitely shout out what these people are doing because, you know, I think that there's not a lot of other things like this. And I think as far as queer businesses and local opportunities and like artisan work, um, I think it's really important to shop from, like I said in the fashion video, it's important for us to shop from local and artisan and, um, you know, give our money to someone who actually deserves it. So today about Rise Market, you know, um, I have my phone, so this is rare. I know I never really have my phone on here, but I wanted to make sure I didn't butcher anything. So, okay, so Rise Market, again, that's risemarket.live. Um, I'm going to read you there about, so it's welcome to Rise Market. At Rise, we help introduce customers who care to LGBTQIA2 plus artists organizers, educators, entrepreneurs, small businesses, and nonprofits that will help them thrive. Unlike other marketplaces, we prioritize inclusivity and accessibility in all that we do. From the design of our website and user experience to the brands allowed on Rise, 
we put creatives of color and LGBTQIA2 plus small business owners first. That's really exciting. Really exciting for me to hear. Um, I think it's great that there's somebody out there organizing on behalf of people of color and queer artists, and especially someone like Rise Market, who comes from the same background. You know, they're um, multiracial, um, trans owned, I believe, which is just, it just, I just love it. I think it's so cool. I, I, I have no other words for it. I think it's really exciting that there's a queer marketplace online. I think what I've gathered was that they started because there, you know, due to COVID, there was such a, there was like a gap between small businesses in Texas and, you know, the marketplace because there was no in-person market. So the owners at Rise Market, they actually came together and put together a website, you know, and are doing a lot of really amazing um, programming for queer people, people of color, and really focusing on creating a platform, which I think is really great. So again, that's risemarket.live. There is uh, so many, so many amazing, you know, artisans and artists and craftspeople and performers and everything on there and it's just I just it's a great place to start if you're looking for any small gifts if you're looking for something for yourself any jewelry there's a lot a lot to go through so definitely check out bridesmarket.live and head on over do some shopping spend your money put your money where your mouth is you know um and let's get that money into the hands of queer folk so moving forward you know that's that's my little shout out for Rise Market and Shopping Small. I wanted to talk a little bit about the performance that I did for their um, live stream, Queer Sounds. Well, first of all, a shout out to What The Femme podcast also, because they just had me on there as like a, one of the Rise Market um, visibly queer live streams. And I was so excited to sit down and talk about my work. And I know I said I would never talk about my work on here, but I lied. So I want to take a second to talk about my work, you know, um, I, I, I think I've been triggered a lot talking about my work because I feel like it's never like appropriate and I don't want to come across as like boastful, but I'm really proud of what I've done, um, especially with Rise Market. I'm really, really, and What The Fan Podcast, I'm super proud to be able to discuss and share and I'm gonna do just that. So, here we go, you know. Um, so, okay, the performances, I'm gonna see if I can like clip in videos, maybe like here. I'm here, you know. Um, so, I guess I'll go performance by performance and I can talk a little bit about the, the thought behind it. Um, I'll be brief, but, so I did four songs. You know, I really, when, when I had approached, when we had been in communication with Rise Market about getting together for a live stream, in my head, I had just come out with Lear last December. I put out a music video. You know, I was in the process of creating a tangible world for Frank's world and everybody who wants to participate. And so when it came to the performances, I wanted to figure out how to use the same songs and kind of tell um, the narrative of what those songs meant to me. So we start off with Lear and I'm wearing this like chrome vinyl uh, you know, armor, I would call it. I'm connected with like these wires and I'm kind of trying to showcase the, that there's, that there was a point in time in my artistry where I became very like robotic because I was thinking too much about what people thought about me and I was like focusing so much on how I was perceived. I wasn't really um, feeling as free in my own work as I wanted to. So what I wanted, so Lear, what that song is about is about me claiming myself and it's like um it's like me praying and asking for the capacity to speak freely and so in that performance you know I take off the mask and I pull off the armor and like rip out the cords and by the end of the song I'm I rid myself of past oppression you know um that was the way I was thinking about it so I wanted these 
songs to kind of come to life in a different way, especially since there's no possibility in the exact future to do this live. I thought it would be a cool opportunity to do some storytelling. Um, so from so Lear, you know, that's that's Lear. And then we moved into what I like to think of as like a dreamscape because it was the only performance I did with like the live mic. And um, so I did I Accept. And in that one, we, me and Big Dog uh, Video Productions, we thought it would be really cool to do it, like, have it feel independent from the rest of the performance and that I'm wearing all black and it's like foggy. So there was this very like dream aspect to it, which is like, as you move through the, the pieces, that's that was like intentional. Um, Cause I accept is really about an internal dialogue that happened with, within me, where I, I chose to be like, okay, you know, I accept my role in this world, and I accept what I'm supposed to be doing, and I'm on my knees, like, screaming to the universe and to God and saying, like, oh, like, I accept, you know? Um, so I wanted that to be, like, a dreamscape that happens, because it is, it's, I wanted to show that there is a moment between the, the, the negation of oppression and, and certain oppressive realities, and then the celebration of newfound freedom. So between Lear and Frank's, there was I Accept, which is this like styled kind of differently, very, just a very dreamy aspect to, to that transition and trying to speak to that. Because then we end up in Frank's, um, which is one of my favorite songs I think I've ever written. Um, and it's like this like sort of campy, kind of like up, upbeat, um, sort of like it's just a, an artist's statement, but in a song. So when it comes to Frank's, then I'm wearing um, this outfit, actually, the top of this. And it's, I wanted to, to use nude as a way to illustrate the, the nakedness and the... The, uh, that's, yeah, the naked, the rawness of what those songs were, you know, um, because this last EP wasn't about me trying to become something that I wasn't, it was about me owning everything that I already am, and accepting that the years of work that I've put in, and the things that I've done, and who I've been, all of it leads to this. And it's, this is all leading to that, and that, that, it, that it's a process that happens. And I don't think I've been able to ever speak on the process because I think I needed to do something like this first. So with Frank's in Damn, the two like celebratory performances towards the end, it's, what I love is that there's like an arc. So it starts trapped in Lear, the dreamscape, the celebration of Frank's, like this, 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 like discovery, this like explosion. This is like I'm here, you know. And then it ends in damn. So there's like still a conversation that's happening that's saying like I've freed myself, and damn, this is who I get to be. But obviously there's more, you know. This is just the beginning of the journey. So that's I, there's gonna be clips, hopefully. I'm, I talked. I started talking about clips, and then I just kind of like off the clips. But it's gonna. It's gonna, There's another encore performance tonight. Tonight, on RiseMarket.live. So everyone, go check that out. You know, it's um, it's myself, Bentley Robles, which will tag Bentley. Um, I'm trying to here. I, I brought it up so I wouldn't mess up anybody's names. So, and then there's David Gomez, who's another artist from, I believe, New York City, um, Space Cadets from Houston, Texas, and Lembra, I think also from New York. Damn, we're a lot of New York kids out here doing New York queer things. Um, it's, a, it's a great set list. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, please, everyone, tip what you can. Pay us out. Um, and if you can't, you know, just enjoy the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be posting my performances on my YouTube channel and on Instagram, uh, probably tomorrow, which is why this is premiering today. So I'm not like overloading you guys with videos of myself doing things. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So everyone tune in tonight 
tonight, Rise Market Live. Before you tune in, make sure you go to Rise Market and do some shopping. Follow What the Fam podcast. Follow Rise Market on Rise Market. Also, and this is how like I want to close this out because there's a, that's a lot of information. So I talked about the performances. I talked about Rise Market. A little bit about What the Fam podcast, which is really cool. Everyone, go follow them. Um, they're on Spotify too, I think. So they're everywhere. Go follow them. And Rise Market actually is creating something that I think is really exciting called the Queer Exchange which is um, like a queer-centered social media platform. So you can follow me. I'm on there, too. We're all on there. And you can come on there, and we can chat and just talk and just sort of say hey and, like, see what's up, you know? Connect with other artists. And I've already come across so many other artists that I am really excited to find, and it's really a great... um, Hell yeah, you know? Hell yeah to queer organizations, to queer platforms, and to different styles of approaching that. Hell yeah. So, again, tonight, on RiseMarket.Live, Instagram, Encore Performance, your second chance to see all the performances together, to see them in their entirety. We're all going to be on there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Before I do the, what the what's in the purse, I'm just going to check the time to make sure I have enough time to do it. So, one second. Oh. I have plenty of time. Not plenty of time. I don't want to do too much. So, yeah. This, this, this episode was dedicated to Rise Market. Um, unsponsored. I just really felt enamored to come on here and shout out Rise Market and shout out What The Femme Podcast and The Queer Exchange and there will be links um, to all of this everywhere somehow in this episode, maybe in the captions or maybe in the video Um, I think you can do that on YouTube so that's that on that so today in What's In My Purse speaking of small business I wanted to talk about two of my favorite um, queer creators, uh, Michaela Baumgartner and Casper Capers. So, hey girls, you're on TV. Um, so today in my purse, I wanted to talk about Michaela's cool new work. So Michaela is a visionary and designer, um, spiritual goddess of sorts. And so she actually, so she actually got, this is really exciting for me and for her also, but she, her designs were recently worn by Tanache in an in a magazine spread. I forgot the magazine, sorry. But um, so Michaela has a lot going has a lot going for her, you know. And she is so great, you know. She's one of the sweetest Libras I've ever met. And so she actually made me these um, sage burners, but they're both different. So they're for different things. There's clarity and focus, and then mood booster, who I've been using a lot because you know I'm very moody. Gemini Moon whatever but so this is really exciting I think it's really great to I think it's really great to have friends who make things like this for you I think it's great that my vibes can be uplifted from the hands of the creation of one of my great friends and so everybody go follow her on Instagram that's B-A-U-M-M-I-K Bomb Mick um she's on there Go follow her, hit her up for these. I think she does shipping and local delivery in the DMV. Um, But these Sage, I'm shopping local, keep it local. You know, I love that she does these things. Um, Just a little bit of info, the clarity and focus, it's not just Sage. So it's eucalyptus, thyme, rose, lemongrass, sage, rosemary, and mint. So these are very, they're very special. Made with a lot of intention, a lot of care. So bomb mix. Go find her, buy your sage bundles. And my second small business friend that I want to shout out, Casper Capers, they actually just came out of nowhere with these really bomb oils and perfumes. And I was able to get some because like I scrambled and I was like, please, 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 like I want to buy some from you. Um, But Casper is amazing. They're an amazing vessel and communicator and they've been reading tarot in new york for a very long time and they are just sweetest most 
creative, influential, and honestly great friends that I've ever had. And Casper um, has created these new lines of perfumes and oils that are just imbued with like natural and organic scents and intentions and spirituality. And they smell amazing. They feel amazing on your body. And when you wear them, Casper instructs you to wear them with intention. And I found that I'm not going to tell you which ones I've been wearing, but as I've been wearing them, I can see things manifest in my life. So it's, it's great to have another gift from another amazing friend that just wants to pull out and bring out the best vibrations, you know, for me. Well, really for anybody who wants to participate. Um, Casper is really difficult. I know that they sold out within like eight hours the first day they posted. So their stuff is flying. So if you have a chance, get over to Casper and be like, please, you know, maybe there's a wait list. I'm not sure how Casper is going to run that. Um, but let me shout out Casper's Instagram so that you guys know where to find them. And so that's Casper, C-A-S-P-E-R dot one, two, four, three. Casper dot one, two, four, three. So go find Casper on Instagram, buy your oils and perfumes, you know, keep yourself smelling and vibing as high as possible and support local business and your local friends. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I was really excited about doing this little like spot moment. You know, I never really imagined myself as somebody who would do things like this. So it's really funny, but I'm enjoying having a moment and creating a platform where I can shout out other people's work and talk about my work a little bit and kind of keep the conversation going. So thank you so much everybody for joining. Again, that things to go follow, go follow risemarket.live, What The Femme Podcast, The Queer Exchange, Bomb Mick, and Casper Capers. If you guys have any other questions, all the links will be below in the captions and enjoy the performances. You know, I'll see you guys tonight. Thank you so much. Bye.